Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and today I'm going to be testing the new firmware updates for the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, as we can see here, I'm currently running the ATD5 firmware, and since this came out, there have actually been two updates, an ATE6 and an ATE7. Now, starting from the ATE6, I did hear that there were some massive uh, performance improvements and no throttling anymore, so it'd be interesting to see if that is actually the case. Now, there's also apparently improvements in the speed of the focusing. Now, as far as I was concerned, it's pretty good as it is. So if it gets faster than this, it'll be interesting to see how much quicker it gets. I mean, yeah, OK, it does lag a, a few times, but it is pretty quick compared to what it was like out of the box when it was first released. So we'll be testing the camera focus as well to see if that's improved. And if so, then fantastic. Right, so these are my Antutu results, which I performed earlier. I did three different tests, one running in the high performance mode, one in the optimized mode, and one in the medium power saving mode. So here we have the results for the high performance mode, 527,000. We have the optimized mode here, 512,000. And here is the power saving mode at 460,000. So each time you can see down here on the graph that the CPU seems to get throttled at a certain period throughout the test and then it sort of stabilizes here. Same can be seen on the high performance mode and optimized mode is a bit, uh, bit different, certainly looking like it's being throttled somehow. So apparently if this update does fix that, then that's great. You won't be uh, held back in any of your games, etc. And hopefully the test will show whether that is the case or not. So I'm going to install the May update first. So this is the ATE6 update. Once that's installed, I'm going to run through those tests one more time and we'll just see what the results are like. Just so you know that the screen resolution set here is the WQHD Plus and it's running at 60 hertz. Right, our update has finally finished and we are now on the ATE6 update. So I'm just going to quickly do a camera test and we'll just see if there have been any improvements with the focus. So it doesn't seem to have stuttered as long as it did the one time previously. So yeah, I'd say the camera improvements are definitely real which is nice. But now the main test I'm going to do is of course the Antutu benchmark test. So I'm going to do another high performance, optimized and the medium power saving mode and then I'll come back to the video once those have been completed and we'll see how it got on. Right so I've just finished doing the tests on the ATE6 update and interestingly they're actually worse off now than they were in the previous firmware. So we can see here this is under the optimized mode now, although the temperature has been allowed to be increased up until 42.3 degrees, we're actually down at 473,000 compared to the 512,000 we had in the previous test. Now, the same can be said for the high performance results here. Again, the temperature has been allowed to get to 41.7, but we're down to 505,000 points here compared to our previous score of 527,000. So that's, you know, that's a 22,000 point difference, which is a bit worrying actually. The medium power saving, it's a 50,000 point difference here. So we did have previously 460,000 and now we're down at 410,000, but the phone has stayed and maintained at a sort of almost constant 37.7 degrees. Whereas previously it was sort of sticking around the 35.9 degrees. So there are definitely some changes here. And on the, you know, the first look at it, they're actually not very good changes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna install the latest ATE 7 update and we'll just see if there's any difference between what we have seen just now. Right, okay, we are back after installing the ATE 7 update. So I'm just gonna check the camera again, see if there's any noticeable improvements.
Okay, can't notice any major differences there between the previous ATE6, so I'm not going to do the Antutu tests and we'll come back and see what the results are. And again, we're just going to start off in the optimize and we're going to do the high performance and then the medium power saving. Right, I've just finished doing the tests on the ATE7 update and the results have actually gotten worse yet again, which isn't a uh, very good thing to see. So this is the optimized result here. So on the ATE6, we were getting 473,000. We're now getting 446,000. So that's a decrease of 33,000, which is pretty bad really. Okay, so if we compare this to the ATE6 and the AE5 updates, we can see that we've actually lost a total of 66,000 points here in the benchmark score, uh, which is quite, uh, quite worrying, really. If we have a look at the high performance mode, we're also losing, compared to our first test, 25,000 points. Compared to the ATE6 update, it's around about the same just losing for about 3,000 points here on our AT7 update. And interestingly, on the medium power saving test, we actually scored a bit better than we did in our AT6 update by around about 50,000 points. And compared to our first update on the A5, we actually have increased by 9,000 points. So again, we can see from the graphs here that the temperatures do reach a peak and they do still go down. Now. It depends on the test really obviously as to what's happening in the test whether there's something more you know processor intensive going on or not but i think really if we look back over them all we can see that you know i think things are still being throttled and they certainly you know compared to how they were in our first test they've definitely gone downhill which isn't a, uh, a nice feeling but it's what we're left with so hopefully these sort of things will improve over time yet again but overall not impressed with the new update with its latest results because they're actually worse off than when we started now each time i started a test i did you know leave the phone five minutes or so to make sure it would cool down enough before starting the next test but if what everyone was saying was true that it wasn't being throttled anymore then we shouldn't have seen any problems anyway even if we had just kept running the test one after the other so let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below have you noticed a similar thing i know that people were saying that their battery life has improved with this latest update that could be one of the reasons why because it's actually uh, performing worse in theory so yeah let me know what you think down below in the comments subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future and i will see you in the next one